I will be replacing this control board of this inside of this mini split unit Cooper Hunter CNH or Cooper and Hunter um, I did the diagnostics uh, on, a, on another video and if you have not seen that if you have not seen that video I believe in the link to that video in this video description so go check it out go watch the the diagnostic video <clears throat> so this board right here controls the condens the condenser fans see there's two fans one in top one in the bottom um, so what was happening is that one of the two fans wasn't spinning and actually was spinning backwards slowly one of the two fans and the error code I was getting was F5 F5 outdoor fan speed has been out of control okay so after troubleshooting I determined that this board the DC motor driver board DC motor driver board see there's two fans connected to it it was determined that that board was the problem so like I said uh, if you have not seen that video maybe because you're not a preferred, me preferred member because preferred members always get always get all of my videos first so if you have not seen that video um, I'm gonna leave that link to that video in this uh, this video description so I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, Place this board. My ladder is a bit short and so I'm on a bit of a reach here but I got the board unscrewed or unmounted and uh, so here it is I'm gonna there's one of the fan there's another fan right here and um, it doesn't really matter where you plug them in so just plug them unplug the plugs unplug the uh, the plugs and there's another wire right here this is the goes to CN1 so I guess that's I think you may have to put back in the same spot but so in order to remove the two fan 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 one and fan two those clips I had to use my uh, my pliers here to squeeze the connector and then pop them out because they're they're rather tight and you don't have much space for to move your fingers to grip it so yeah so there it is it's gonna be switch switching uh this old one out from the plastic and put this new one in little clip right here little clip little clip on the side yeah just these little clips on the side on to 
three, four, just like just just pry them back. You can see. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just pry this clip back, pop it out. Nothing difficult. After removing your after removing your two screws, two Phillips head screws. So, back, back, back right here. that's it. All right. Let's put it in and fire it up. Let's see if it's gonna work, baby. <laughs> I forgot to put the screws back the screws back on the inside but it's not a big deal it's already clipped into the base already so it's not gonna go anywhere I'm not worried about it so yeah just waiting for it to start up yeah so yeah those two screws that was holding this board to the plastic um, I mean, it's, it's an extra protection, but it's not really necessary. And I, I will not be removing this, un uninstalling it just to do that. Yeah, this thing ain't going nowhere. All right, so let's wait for it to, wait for it to start up and see what we got. See it first hand. First hand. Both my fans are running, so that that was a, a diagnostic was on point. Both fans are running. Like I said, you will see the problem, the real problem, real-time diagnostics in the other video. I'm going to leave that on the link, uh, and, and the link in the description of this video. So, yeah. Okay. So this was, uh, this was another win. And I'm going to close this video off.